Hey girls, I hope that everybody has been having a fantastic week and welcome to BBC week two. So our basics um, boot camp for week two. As I said on our call for week one, this is not going to be like a uh, sugar coat um, program. We're just going to get straight to the point just like you would if you were at a boot camp for army, military, whatever it is. You are there to work on the basics to get those basics perfected at your very best, top notch. So you were doing it just like you, as it comes natural. Um, and that's what I want for you in your business. So our first training that we had for BBC was on your bookings, because bookings is the backbone of your business. And the more bookings you have, the more people you're gonna be in front of, the more consistent you're gonna be with your business and the more um, success you're going to see, which is what I want for you guys. So, and I'm going to try to do this. I was trying to use my computer and it would not work. So, using my phone. So, recruiting. I am very passionate about recruiting. I love recruiting. I love adding new ladies to my team every month. My goal for my business, which is a goal that anybody can have, is to recruit um, two new ladies a month to my team. So, um, the first question, if you're if you are just joining us, if you've only been in 31, 90 days or less, you're thinking, when can I recruit? Should I recruit? I don't know if I want to recruit. The answer to all these questions are, yes, recruit. You can recruit. You can add people to your team as often as you want. The same day you sign up, someone else can sign up right up under you. So there's no time limit. There's no um, qualifications to having to recruit. So your next question might be, why? Why should I recruit if I don't want to be in leadership? Well, I did not want to be in leadership either. And I say that out of my mouth. I told my husband, I'm not building a team. I'm not building a business. I'm not recruiting. I just want to have parties a couple of times a month and be have a little extra money in my pocket to buy me a pair of shoes, to buy an outfit, and not feel guilty. That is why I joined 31. So that is why I tell you to recruit because even though I didn't have the desire when I first signed up to be a leader, it became something that I wanted to do. And people were asking me about 31. Why do you do it? Are you successful? What's your commission rate? Um, how much is it to sign up? And so when I was answering these questions, I realized that it was okay for people to join and to know that I did not have to be a leader, even if I met leadership qualifications, that it was not required, that I could do it when I was ready. That was great. So recruit offer the opportunity to people, whether you want to build a team or not. Like I said, I did not. And here I sit today with almost 200 people under me almost four years later as an executive director. And I had zero desire to be a leader when I signed up. So that may be you. Now, how do you recruit? Um, recruiting is very easy. I don't even think about it as recruiting as much as I think about it as a the best deal that I can offer people. When you think about what all you get in that enrollment kit, you get $300 worth of product in that enrollment kit. You get a pack of 25 catalogs, that is $15. You get a pack of mini catalogs, that's 40 mini catalogs in there. I believe there are five, 550. You get all your um, paperwork, your orders, um, your order sheets, uh, a calendar, uh, policy and procedures in there flyers, um, party invitations, all of that in your $99 kit, which when you add in tax and shipping, it's going to be around 114 to 119 tops is what I've seen people pay. So you get all of that for $99 with zero strings attached. They are not required to sell one thing. Not one. Not one. So don't approach it in a way of let's go build a business because Think about it. When you started, was it to build a business? Probably not. So you have to remember where you were when you signed up and why you started. So you have to show people the, the value that they're getting. I mean, just for example, the skirt purse and the large utility tote is two of the products in this kit. Those two products together are $95. And you're paying $99 for this kit with $300 of product in it. And if you are buying, just as a customer, the large utility tote and skirt purse, you're spending more, almost as much money on those two items as you would on the $300 of items. 
So that is one way that you can recruit is show them the best deal that you can give them, especially if they are buying from you every month to get that customer special. It would benefit them and benefit you if they go ahead and sign up because they can put a little bit of their money back in their pocket. They can get those free amenities to just by coming to Celebrate and Connect meetings. They can earn the add-on kits. They can see all the new stuff first. There are a million reasons why they can just sign up and just stay active. That's all I got to do. And I've even had ladies who have joined like during the OJ incentive, the opportunity to join incentive, where they can earn their money back. And they tell me, I'm going to sign up, I'm going to do my $1,000, and then I'm done. I'm just going to buy from you. And I am totally okay with that. Do not put restrictions on them. Let people sign up. Because, again, think about you when you joined. You may have joined just to get the kit. You may have joined just to have a little extra spending money. And now think about why you're doing 31. Some of you are directors today, and that was not your intent, just like it was not mine. But it became that. So don't put yourself in that box. Step back to when you were new. Use that mindset constantly. Think about that why and approach people in that way. That's what I do. That's how I approach people. I let them know why I started. I didn't start this to be an executive director. I just started this to get out of the house. And if you're like me, you can think of a lot of ladies who need 31 or who would do 31 for the same reasons. So that is my next thing for recruiting. Make your list. Just like you make lists of hostesses, make your list of recruits. Write them down. Stay at home moms. Uh, ladies that you go to church with. Ladies who love bags. Uh, ladies who love a great deal. People who ask you questions constantly about 31. Ladies who host a catalog party for you every catalog season. Women who want to see what the new enrollment kit is. Um, those who are interested in the customer special. Those who are great at picking out monogramming. Um, ladies who help you find great ideas for your 31 business. There are tons of women. Family. Ask your family. Cousins. Uh nieces, sisters, sister-in-laws, whoever it is, your mom, ask them, do not, do not, do not, do not assume that if they want to be a 31 consultant, they will tell you. My mother tells me all the time that it is my job to ask people to join my team and to host parties for me, that it's not up to them to do it. It's up to me to do it because that's a part of my job. Again, just like a waitress offers dessert. We are offering dessert to these people. It is their responsibility to answer, to say yes or no. It is our responsibility to offer. Because if we don't offer, I guarantee you somebody else will. And you will be kicking yourself and thinking, why did I not ask her? All I had to do is ask. All I had to do was say, hey, look at this $99 kit. So that is my next point. What do I say? What do I say when I'm recruiting? I, you know, I don't know how to do this. I've never done it before. Very, very easy things that you can say. One thing that I say is, um, hey, girl, I know you love 31. I, I love that you are one of my best customers and hostesses. Just want to share the enrollment kit with you and all that you can get for it. And I think that you would be great. And I think that it would benefit you. And I would love to save you some money. If you could buy, if you would buy it from yourself, it's very easy. I'll help you. There's nothing required of you, but if you could put some money back in your pocket, I would love to help you do that. What do you think? That's one way to do it. Another way to do it is to say to them, Hey, I've got this new enrollment kit. I know that purple is your favorite color. I know that you love when we have purple products. You've got to see this kit because this is going to be the best deal for you. $300 a product for 99 Look at this new enrollment kit and tell me what you think about it. And if you want to sign up, we'll sign you up. No strings attached. You don't have to sell a dime. You can still use me as your favorite consultant. But I know that you love this color, and I want to make sure that I offer the best deal to you because you are so great to support me. Another thing that I say, which I have just used in this past month with three ladies, actually, and what I say to them, I will just message them on Facebook or text them, and I'll be like, hey, how are you? How's life going? And we'll get to talking, and I'll tell them, listen, 
I've been thinking about my business. I've been uh, praying and asking God to help me think of ladies who might enjoy doing 31 or who may, who may need extra income or who would just be good and have fun with it. And believe it or not, your name was one of the names that came to me. And I send that to them and I wait. I wait for an answer. And all three of them that I have sent this to have answered me. One of them said, um, really? Me? You thought about me? And I said, yes. She's a college student. She's 20 years old. She's in nursing school. And she was like, wow, I've never thought about doing 31. But that is so awesome that you think that I would be great at this. And she told me. She said, I'm too busy to do it right now because I'm in the middle of all my nursing school stuff. But when I finish, this sounds like something that I would love to do. Um, and then she asked me for a catalog because she wanted to place an order. So that was a um, no, not right now. So I'm, I'm going to write her down. I'm going to keep her posted. Um, the other two ladies, one lady told me she had been praying about an opportunity for extra income. And she asked me if I could meet her for lunch this coming Friday so we can talk about the details and how it works. She said, I'm tied on money. So if we, if I did this, I wanted to set up a game plan with you, Kara. So um I would be able to be successful from the get-go. And I was like, great, let's do it. So we're meeting for lunch Friday. Then another girl who I was in high school with, she was two years younger than me, I messaged her um, because her and I have talked about 31 off and on. And I, when I messaged her, I said, hey, girl, I am so sorry that I have not kept up with you and let you know about all the things going on with 31 and about the new enrollment kit. That was an easy way for me to get back in touch with her and not feel like I was just talking her out of the blue. And so she was like, no big deal. How are you? We just started talking. So I shared the enrollment kit with her. And she's been in direct sales before. And she told me that she has been looking for a direct sales company to get back into so that she can be home with her kids. And we are talking back and forth on Facebook. Um, they're out at Pigeon Forge right now. But... When she gets back, we're going to talk some more about it. So there's some maybes right there. And then I have another girl who um, I'm helping do her first party this weekend. And I messaged her out of the blue and I said, hey, Erin, no, this is totally crazy. I know that we are not super duper close and we haven't really hung out, but I really think that you would be great at 31. And she said, wow, I have been wanting to ask you about this, but I've been terrified to just come out and say it. I'm so excited that you asked me and she is signing up Friday and her party is Saturday. So she was thinking about it, but she was scared to ask me because she didn't know how she would come across to me. So I tell you that to tell you there are girls out there who want to join, who want to do what you're doing, who see you having fun, who see your post of all the successes you've had, all the free goodies that you get, um, all the things that you're learning and they want to do this with you, but they're terrified to ask you. So all you have to do is use words like that, brings down those walls, makes it more comfortable, and it is amazing who will say yes. So amazing who will say yes. And you can offer benefits for people to join your team. That is totally okay for you to do that. If there is a, some financial things that you want to offer, that's okay. I would tell you not to do it all the time. Just on rare occasions, they will offer the OJ incentive. Um, I'm hoping they do it again this spring. Cindy Monroe is doing the video webinars um, three different times on November 12th. Get that information on TOT and use that. Send that as a private message or a text to your friends, family, whoever, your coworkers, people you go to church with, people you haven't talked to in years, and be like, hey, girl, I'm having so much fun doing 31. This is Cindy Monroe, the CEO of this company. I think if you listen to what she had to say, that you would do awesome at this, and it would be so fun for us to do this together. You, what do you think? That's all you got to say. Simple as that. So use that. And then this is my exciting announcement that I was telling you girls about. Recruiting is my passion. I am honored to be on the um, Leadership Council for 2013 and 2014 based off of recruiting. I'm in the top 25 for recruiting. And my goal this year, by the end of May of 2014, is to have 30 qualified recruits. Not just to recruit 30 people, but to have 30 
qualified recruits. That was from June 2013 to May 2014. That's a huge goal, and that takes a lot of work, but I want to do it because I want to help ladies see the fun that we have, that they can have a business, that they can just do parties to stay active and buy from themselves, or they can do parties to buy extra things for them, themselves and their family every month, whatever their reason is. It is perfect for this business. So, because I'm passionate about it and because I want to help you, I am doing a taco night. Um, thanks to Lindsay Hines. We have been talking about this. She's one of my directors and she's doing it um, in Mississippi. I want to do this. But I don't, I want to do this um, for all of you. So, we're going to have a taco night, which is a totally awesome career opportunity. And if you ladies are going to join in and do this and bring recruits, I would love for you to help me out with some food. We're going to do tacos, soft tacos. We're going to do some hard taco shells, taco meat, all the um, things that you need on it, lettuce, tomato, cheese, whatever else, um, some chips and salsa. And um, have that and have that taco theme. Bring your recruits. Bring them all, whatever they think. You know, whatever they might, might think about it, bring them. And by the way, 31 is a great um, Christmas present. Buying the enrollment kit for yourself or asking for it for Christmas. How awesome would it be to get that pink box with a big bow on, uh, um, under your tree for Christmas? A new business to start the new year. I think that is awesome. So it's going to be Thursday. Um, I'm trying to think. November 21st, a Thursday from 6 to 8 p.m. You can bring as many recruits as you want to. You can just come yourself, whatever it is. Bring them to my house. I will get more information out. So, a taco night, Thursday, November 21st, 6 to 8 p.m. And I am super pumped about this. I'm going to have the enrollment kit. I'm going to help them see why they should sign up to be a 31 consultant and why they may already be a consultant. Um, and make it super easy for them. And it's not... I'm not going to let anybody sign up that night. Nobody. So go ahead and let them know there's going to be zero pressure to sign up that night. Um, I'm going to try to have some packets together, maybe some catalog packets to put together for them to take with them. And, and it, that might be something that you want to think about doing, getting a couple of catalogs, um, an example order form, printing the order forms off of TOT, uh, putting a hostess flyer and a recruit flyer in there with the catalogs, and maybe a nail file, just a little happy for them, and have that as recruit packets, and they can go out and get some orders together, or as y'all are leaving that night, y'all can book an open house for them to do, and then they sign up right before or right after, however we need to do it. I want this to be a success. I would absolutely love for us to not only be at 200, but over 200 um, by the time Christmas got here. I know that is a outlandish goal, but dream big, I say. Believe big, have faith big. I know God can do big things. Think about what this business has done for you, no matter your reason, and let's share it with these ladies. So, recruiting. Um, remember not to make it all about having a business. Make it about simple things. Needing new tires, needing to pay for braces, pay off debt, um, buy yourself a pair of shoes every month. Um, give money, uh, give more to your church or to other organizations that you want to give to. Stay at home with your kids. Send your kids to daycare. Go back to college. Um, pay for your kids to go to college. Get your hair um, highlighted every other month. Whatever the why is, don't make it all about having a business because that's not going to hit home with everybody. But those things, those real life things, that will hit home. Um, paying the extra gas bills with gas going up. Paying for heat because we're fixing to hit the colder months. Paying for Christmas for our kids, for other kids, for our family. Those are all real reasons. Use those scripts that I said on the video. Make your list. List of people who you need to ask. List of people who say, no, not right now. List of people who say, show me the enrollment kit, every catalog, and you never know. Make your list and ask, ask, ask. Remember, people are waiting for you to ask them because they're terrified to ask you. Just like we all wanted to be picked to be on that kickball team or basketball team when we were in school, people are waiting on us to ask them, to invite them to be on our team. And remember to show them that this enrollment kit is the greatest value that we can offer them. There are no strings attached. Anybody 
can do this. Anybody. We can all do this. Um, I believe in you girls. I hope that this recruiting video helps. I know it's a little bit long, but like I said, passionate about this. Let me know in our Facebook group if you are all about taco night. If you are, just put on there taco um, as your comments, as your post, and I will know what you're talking about, girls. Super proud of you all. So glad to have you as part of Team Fearless. And enjoy this video and recruit, recruit, recruit. Bye, girls.